best walkout song we have. It really is. <laughs> These guys are fantastic, aren't they? Good to see you guys, Jersey. I'm so happy to be back. You know, there's a bunch of people in the crowd like, who is this guy? Where's Jared? Uh, is, that a faux, is that a knockoff Jared? That's not a Jared. It's got the height, but that's about it. Uh, how's everybody doing? Did you have fun last night? Karaoke was good? Yes, yes. It's always a good time, isn't it? Oh man, you guys are ready to do the questions. Let's get into it then. Let's get into it. We'll start with you. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, we just took a picture, didn't we? We did, yeah. How'd it turn out? Do you know? I haven't looked at it yet. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get it soon. So my question is, if you could have written a different ending for Gadria, what would it have been? Um, there would have been a spin-off with cast, <laughs> and they would have went off and did wonderful um, um, angel things, and, and Gadria would always be the grunt of the joke, because he never, he, he's, he's new to this world, and cast with all his new coolness and understanding the world and how things work in, 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 in media, what have you, would be taking the piss out of Kidriel endlessly. Maybe that. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe not the epic suicide that he did. Yeah, giving his life up in that way was a little traumatic. It was a little crazy. It was awesome. You know, that said, as a fan, it was pretty amazing. And as an actor, I loved doing that scene. It was great. It was a lot of fun. And uh, um, I wouldn't change anything. You know, it, it could have gone in a different direction. There's always so many different possibilities, but I think um, I think the uh, the arc that we saw for the character was it was pretty cool, man. I, I hold it very dear to my heart. If you could have changed anything, what what would you have done? Oh God, I don't know. Too much pressure, huh? Yeah, too much pressure. Okay, next question. <laughs> Hi. Hi. So my question is. You know, last time I actually got to ask you about Trick or Treat. And this time, I'd like to ask you if you could be involved in any of the three projects, 911, This Is Us, or The Walking Dead, which would you be involved with and why? Hmm, 911, The Walking Dead, or This Is Us. I've seen some of This Is Us. It's really good. It's really good. I, I mean, I think that I really like the writing on it. And uh, uh, I know uh, John Huerta, who's one of the producers and one of the actors on it. John's excellent. I didn't get to share a lot of uh, scenes with him, but I did work with John in, in, um, in Castle. Um, I think that would be a really cool show to be a part of. I mean, all three of them would. 911 is, is that, which one is that? Is that a comedy? No, no. no it's, um, it's, a, it's got Angela Bassett and Peter Krause. Oh, I haven't seen it. Bassett is a legend. She She's is. a she's so good man she's amazing hey i mean those are great questions i'd love to be involved with all of those projects the walking dead i was watching for the first four or five seasons i was right into it and i was given the graphic novels um at some point at a convention and i was blown away by those um i dropped off though i just never got back to the show and it's not because it isn't incredible i think i just I had a point where I had to get away from all the zombie killing. I just needed a little break. But it's, um, I, I'd like to get back to it. How, how behind am I? Do I have a decade of shows to watch? <laughs> it's like six years behind. If you stopped in four or five, it's now in 11 and it's wrapping with. Okay, so it's doable. I can do it. It can happen. All right, well, I'll try and do that. And I'll try again on one of those shows. Thank you. Hi. Uh, hey, man. I was just wondering. When you found out that Gadriel was going to eventually betray the Winchester Bros, how did you feel about that? Um, I wasn't given a lot of information about Gadriel and his whole arc uh, in the beginning. Uh, they really didn't tell me anything. Like I, I, I've told this story a couple times, but I think for my audition, they actually gave me um, sides. Like the, the scene that I did was, was, was cast a scene. It was, it was Misha's singing from one of the previous episodes. I had no idea, though. Um, so when I came in, they were like, well, listen, you're going to be playing an angel who's playing, who's pretending to be one angel, but he's actually another. Um, and that was about it. Didn't give me a lot of information. So when I was reading the scripts, just like everybody else, I was learning each time, like, kind of the direction it was going. I had a sense of where they were taking it, that they were kind of making a little bit of an evil, sort of nefarious character. But I, I tried to play against that a bit. Just considering his history and through my own research, kind of finding out what Gadriel had been through, uh, I, 
just kind of made the choice that it wasn't so much that he was bad or he had ill intentions. He was just really trying to get redemption. And he was way too trusting and he was just straight up damaged. Um, he, wasn't, uh, he wasn't clear of mind. And, and, and uh, Metatron uh, took him in the wrong direction. He was very trusting of him, but when he finally realized that, that he'd been duped, he, uh, he did whatever he could to, uh, to make amends in the way that he saw fit. Thanks. Hey, you. Hi, it's me again. It's you. I gotta give this girl a shout out. She was so active on social media that there'd, there'd be like a hundred tweets. You're all welcome. He's here because of me. Right. <laughs> Trying to get me to get get invited to the show, and I, I thank you for that. You and all your friends were so active, and it ended up working out. So I'm very grateful. Well, I'm very thank glad you're here. Um, my question is basically, if you could pick, obviously we all loved you as Gadriel, you were wonderful, but if you could pick somebody else in the entire Supernatural universe to be Monster, Dean, anybody, who would it have been? Like, who had the best character or scenes or whatever else that you would have really loved to have done? There were so many fantastic characters, man. I think Crowley would have been fun. But hey, listen, Shepard, love it. Love, 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 love his work. He's fantastic and not to the mark, but that would have been fun. Yeah. That would have been a blast to do for sure. That's Paul, Jeff, Al Crowley. Hey, yeah. why not? Why not? Give me a crack at it. Let's do it. Uh, I was on a series, uh, briefly, a Joss Whedon series called Dollhouse. <laughs> there you go. Some fans there. Thank you, thank you. And the, I, the, the, the premise of the show was so unique, as a lot of things that Joss does are. He's really a brilliant guy, but the idea of the technology that we could be imprinted with another character, it was so attractive to me. And I, I know that the show, if it had gone on, it, it would have been the case that I was imprinted with you know, a different personality and I would have been able to play another one of the characters. I know that that's that, the overall arc, that's where Joss would have taken it. We never got to that point. And I was always left wanting to do that. You know, I really wanted to get to that point where I could have played a another character on the show, or just a completely different character. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll still get the opportunity. We'll see. Reboot. Reboot. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Um, my question is, what was your favorite scene that you filmed as Gadriel? Um, well, the gentleman who went up recently mentioned the very last scene that I did, like the last scene see Gudriel before he sacrifices himself. That was challenging. Um, it wasn't like my favorite scene because it's difficult as an actor to get to that place. But I also really appreciate scenes like that. The ones that really, really challenge me and then I end up being happy with the work, like where the point that we got to. So I, I did enjoy that. Um, but I, there was there was more than a few cool scenes. Like Misha and I had a very brief scene that was so comedic. It was just loaded. Um, I just wish we had had more because there was a real, it was a real cool chemistry between the two of us, and um, you know, obviously with uh, Jared uh, Jensen and I, we, we we had some great scenes too. I mean, there was one scene where he had me tied up and he'd been beating me, kind of not quite torturing me, but he he'd been giving it to me. We had a very very heated scene, and I loved doing the dance with him, man. He he brought it one hundred percent, and that was uh, that was fantastic. I, I love it when I. Even you know actors like these guys who've been doing day in and day out, you know, 12 to 14 hours a day, five days a week, finishing on a Friday, you know, early hours Saturday morning, nine years into a show at the time, and they're still bringing it every time. They're showing up and they're they're doing the dance with you as an actor. They're being reciprocal. They're getting into it. They're they're giving you something to work with because that's what acting is. It's the dance. And unfortunately, a lot of actors they get so tired and they're so overworked as leads of show, they, they kind of dial it in. They save their energy for when the camera's on them, and then they can't really reciprocate to you, which makes it harder for you as the actor to really bring the performance. But that's not the case with those two boys, man. They really show up, and, and, um, and I'm always uh, really grateful for sharing those scenes with, with them and them showing up 100% and giving me something to work with. Thank you. Hi. I just wanted to say um, I loved you as good, Drew. You were awesome. Thank and you. I wanted to know, is there something you always wanted to do uh, playing him that you weren't able to do or a favorite scene that you had? 
playing him? Um, yeah, well, it's kind of similar to there, uh, to the question I just had. Um, I think, you know, oftentimes when you do a show with such an incredible larger cast, you're always left wanting, uh, you know, to have had acted with some of the ones that you didn't get the chance to act with. You know, uh, I've worked with Shepard before. He came on Battlestar and worked with us for a season. He was great. He was fantastic. Mark's such a good actor, right? And um, I wish we had shared some scenes. He worked with me on Dollhouse, too, but very briefly. Like, we played, you know, FBI agents together, and we'd have these brief, you know, contentious, sort of loaded scenes. His character hated mine, and, and uh, but I really like to mix it up with Mark. And, you know, Pellegrino's a legend. The man is such a an amazing actor. I've always been a huge fan of his work, so any scenes with him would have been amazing. Ruth, any of the gang. I mean, I would have loved to have worked with any of them. Um, but you know, that could still happen. Maybe on different projects. You never know. Maybe we end up working on a, on a, uh, is it Texas Ranger? Texas Walker? What is it? Walker? Oh, yeah. My bad. I get a little brain fart there. But uh, yeah, I, I, uh, when you get to know actors and you hang out with them and you do these conventions and most of the actors in this circuit, they become really, you know, they're good friends, man. We've, we've traveled the world together. We've traveled a lot of places. We break bread together. We eat, we drink, we get to know each other, know about each other's family. So when you do get the opportunity to go and act with them, it's always amazing because, you know, we love to play that way. Yeah, thank you. Hey. Hi. I was wondering, um, when you, like, auditioned or, or got first got called on to the show, had you ever even heard of Supernatural before? And if not, have you like watched it? Or, or had, since then, did you actually watch it to see the show? Or did you just jump in uh, with both feet? <laughs> well, it, it, it was filmed in Vancouver, where I'm from and where I live mostly. Um, it, the show started around the same time that uh, a show that I was in called Battlestar Galactica. So I, I was always aware of it. And I caught a few episodes in the beginning, the first few seasons. Um, again, I really enjoyed it, and I saw the appeal, and I saw how, uh, why it was success successful, but mostly because of the boys, you know, the, the, their chemistry and the thing, they, it's really unique in that way. Those guys really brought it, um, uh, just a, a unique thing, these two brothers fighting, you know, the supernatural, and, and, um, and I hadn't watched it for a few years, and then I, I remember catching a few episodes again when I got, uh, when I found out that I was, they were, they wanted me to audition for one of the new characters on there. Um, but the show had been around forever. It's employed so many friends, so many actors in Vancouver. I've got friends who have played multiple characters on there. You know, my best bud, uh, Alex Ponovic, has played two or three different characters on there. Uh, it happens in Vancouver. You end up recycling the actors. So, um, yeah, I've always appreciated it. I appreciate what those guys done. You can never not recognize a show like this. Like, as many years as it went, that's, that's, it's, it's, a, it's a world renowned. It's, people, people know about the show, and, and as a result of how many years it went and how strong this community and this fan base is, which is ever changing. There's always a new generation of fan base, which is really fascinating because of streaming, because of that technology. And, you know, a lot of you who are older fans, who I was doing shows with seven years ago, had kids, and they was, or they were too young to watch it in the beginning, but now they're in their teens, and they've marathoned the shows, and they're at the conventions with you guys now. I always find that fascinating. You know, I think that's really cool. And that, that speaks to the uh, to the power of the show and, and the strength of this fan base, too. So, I know I digress a little all over the place, but that's the answer you're getting. <laughs> First, I have to say, I love you 